Do you know how to print matrix in a snack pattern? If your answer is no, then this video is for you. Hi guys, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster. And in this video, I am going to talk about how to print matrix in snack pattern. So please watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Alright, let's begin this video with the very first problem on matrix. As you can see here, we are given a matrix and this matrix is a square matrix. Now what does it mean by square matrix? A matrix is a square matrix if count of rows is exactly equal to count of columns. As you can see here, there are 4 rows and 4 columns in this matrix. And our task is to print all the elements in snack pattern. Now the question over here is how snack pattern looks. So you can see here the snack pattern looks like this. Okay. So as per the snack pattern, we have to print this matrix. So the output of this matrix comes out to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 7, 6, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 15, 14, 13. Great. So I hope you understood this problem really well. So as usual, before we solve any problem, we do some observations. So here it is. So whenever we see any matrix, the first thing that pops up in our mind is matrix is a multidimensional array, isn't it? And on top of that, we also remember two important properties of multidimensional arrays and that are multidimensional arrays are collection of elements arranged in rows and columns. This is the first property. And the second property is we can traverse multidimensional arrays in two possible direction. One is vertical and one is horizontal. Correct? Now do you guys realize what is happening over here? In case of snake pattern, if we consider first row, then you can see that we are traversing first row horizontally from left to right. Right? And second row horizontally from right to left. And third row horizontally left to right. And fourth row horizontally right to left. This is the snack pattern, isn't it? Now this begs the question that how to determine when to traverse from left to right and when to traverse from right to left. Now this is where another fact of arrays kicks in and that is arrays are index based. This means every row is associated with an index. The index of first row is 0, second row is 1, third row is 2 and fourth row is 3. Now it becomes really easy to determine when to traverse left to right and when to traverse right to left. And how to determine? It's pretty simple. These two rows are even rows, okay? And other than these two rows, remaining rows are odd rows, okay? And we know that how to determine if a number is even or odd. It's pretty simple. Just we have to do modulus 2. If it's equal to equal to 0, this means we have to traverse from left to right. If this not equals to 0, then we have to traverse from right to left. This is the simple logic. So I hope guys till now you understood each and everything. So we are good to go to devise an algorithm to solve this problem. And the algorithm looks like this. Just we have to traverse each row. If the index of row is even then traverse left to right. If the index of row is odd then traverse right to left. And this is the algorithm we have to follow. So far so clear. So this is all about the theory. Now let's go ahead and see the implementation of this algorithm. So here you can see that we have a function print snake pattern and this function is taking array as input. In the very first statement we are finding the length of array. Okay. Meaning how many array objects are there. And in this case there are four objects. And as I said that this is a square array. It means count of rows are exactly equal to count of columns. Okay. So the number one step is to run a loop from 0 to less than r. In this case r is equal to 4 right because there are 4 elements. So that is why we are running a loop from 0 to less than 4 that is 3. 0 to 3 are 4 numbers. Okay. Inside of this loop we are using if statement to determine whether the index of row is odd or even. If we found that the index of row is even then again we are running a loop from g equal to 0 till less than r to print all the numbers from left to right. Now here you can see that I have intentionally put space before and after element so that so that it looks good when printed. Okay. 
and in else part again we are running a loop from j equal to r minus 1 till 0. Why is like that? Because now in this case we have to print all the elements in reverse order from right to left. And what is the index of the rightmost element? r minus 1. Because there are 4 elements, right? And 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3 is the index of the last element, correct? So this is all about this function. And if we execute this function on this matrix, we would get output like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 7, 6, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 15, 14, and 13. And as you can see that this is exactly same as snack pattern. Okay, so far so great. Moving on to the most important part of this problem that is finding the time and the space complexity. Now here, how many times loop is running? And as we can see it, loop is exactly running number of times that is equal to number of elements. And how many elements are there? We can determine number of elements with the help of count of rows and columns. There are 4 rows and 4 columns, right? So 4 for the 16. So this means the loop runs 16 times. So we can say that the time complexity of this function is big of r into c, where r is the count of rows and c is the count of columns, okay? But here in this case, we are assuming that this is a square array and rows is exactly equal to columns. So we can say that it's a big of r into r, clear. Now talking about the space complexity, you can see that we are not using any extra space here except few variables that is i and j. So we can say it confidently that the space complexity of this function is big of 1 or constant space. So our algorithm to print elements of matrix in a snack pattern took big of r into r time and big of 1 constant space to solve this problem. So I hope guys everything is clear to you. And if you have learned something from this video, then hit the like button to make YouTube algorithm happy. And please subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to press the bell icon so my friend you never miss any upcoming videos. So this is all from my side. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.